YNW Melly was confronted with a key piece of evidence that was mentioned early in his double murder trial, but the 24-year-old's defense team has denied their client's ties to it. On Monday, July 17, Law & Crime Network executive producer Kathy Russin shared text messages allegedly sent by Melly in which he admitted to the charges brought against. In a Twitter post, she uploaded an image of the exchange and explained that it was presented to the court as a confession. She wrote, On the final day of the state's case, they finally introduced the I did that. Should text they told the jury about in their opening statement. Prosecutors say this is hashtag in Melly's confession to the killings. In explaining the defense, Russin added, DATV that. On cross-exam, the defense shows many texts where hashtag YNW Melly spells the word that is dat. Defense insinuating whoever typed that wasn't their client. Hashtag YNW Melly trial. Following a brief hiatus, the legal proceedings resumed last week in Broward County, Florida. Last week. Attorneys for the defense objected to disparaging text messages between their client and his mother being read aloud in court. On Wednesday, July 12, David Howard made the case before Judge John Murphy. There are a number of mothers on the jury who may be inclined to convict just because they have heard irrelevant, unrelated conversations between Mr. Demons, YNW Melly, and his mother, he said. He is calling her the B-word, and all sorts and manner of disrespect. That is clearly off-putting to anyone. He continued, and under the pretext that, the state of Florida, is trying to prove that the phone belongs to Mr. Demons, the state is introducing reams and reams, and tons and tons, of inadmissible evidence. Prior to that, Travion Miliak Glass testified that he'd seen Melly in different clothes after the murders of YNW Juvie and YNW Sock Chaser. We were supposed to have a 12-hour session, he said, referring to a meeting he was supposed to have with the rapper at the New Era Recording Studios in Fort Lauderdale. However, Glass said he'd fallen asleep as a result of the night dragging on, only to be woken up by his phone going off because people were trying to inform him about the shootings. When Glass arrived at Fredo Bang's house, he spotted Melly, who he claims wasn't wearing the same clothes. YNW Melly was arrested and charged with two counts of premeditated murder in 2019 and is currently facing life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. If convicted, he could get the death penalty.